He's the uh, quarterback, the Crimson Tide, the national champs. AJ McCarron joining us on the show. You got class today? Uh, I do. Uh, at, at 12 or 11. What class? Uh, I'm taking a personal finance class uh, just so I know where my money's going next year. Well, you mean your your professional money, your NFL money? Uh, yes, sir. Hopefully. Why Why did you stay? What, what did you hear from the scouts that, that said, maybe I need to go back to Alabama as opposed to coming out in this year's draft? Uh, I never I never talked to any any of the scouts. or I, I never really talked to Coach Saban about it. Um, I mean, my brother was here. Uh, last year was his first year here. And um, this year, he had the red shirt last year, and this year will be his first year of play. And uh, he's playing tight end for us, or H-back, you can call it, and so I wanted the opportunity to play with him again. Um, it's been since we were little that we were on the same team. And so uh, I felt like it was our last opportunity to, to have that chance. And so I wanted to, I wanted to kind of do that before I um, left college. What if the scout said you'll be a top 10 pick? Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I, I feel like if you're patient, uh, money comes, and uh, as long as you work hard, money will come. Uh, I feel like if you press it um, and, and try to get it as soon as it's there, then I mean you're not really uh, taking all of your options. So uh, I, I feel like I mean if I press uh, about it, then it wouldn't be there for long, and it'd be short-term money. And uh, if I was just patient and let everything happen, then. It'll all come to me. Johnny Manziel says it's hard for him to go to class because, you know, people want autographs. It's a disruption, so he's been taking some classes online. What's it like when you go into a classroom? <laughs> uh, I mean, it, you get some extra stares, but, uh, I mean, I, I love our student base here, um, and I love all our fans that we have around campus. Uh, I mean, it's a per- perfect atmosphere for me, and uh, – and so I mean, I, I go to class, but uh, I mean, Johnny's—he's he, my one of my good friends, and, and we text a lot. So, um, but I mean, he—he's got a lot thrown at him, so I—I I can understand. Wait, so you're friends with Johnny Manzo? Yeah. Okay. How's do you, uh, did you have any problem with him winning the Heisman? No, absolutely not. I mean, he's the guy's unbelievable talent, and. Uh, make some incredible plays for his team and uh, definitely deserved it. But I'm looking at your numbers, AJ. Uh, you know, 30 touchdowns, three picks, national championship. Um, I don't know. I, I what, what are we missing here with your numbers, your season, as opposed to some of these other guys who were, uh, you know, thought of higher uh, as far as candidates for the Heisman? Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, that's not my, you know, I, I can't worry about that. Uh I mean, I, I, as long as my teammates know what I'm capable of doing and uh, as long as they trust me and my coaches have trust, trust in me, then I, I'm fine at the end of the day. I don't need some award to tell me, you know, what type of player I am. I feel like uh, when I step out on those uh, on, on that football field and inside those white lines, I feel like I'm the best quarterback um, in the country at that time. So, uh, I mean, I, I just don't need an award. I'm not that type of person. But uh, as long as we keep winning national championships, I'm fine. You you think you were the best quarterback in college football last year? I mean, I think if you ask any quarterback that, um, I mean, if, if they have the right mindset and the right confidence, I, I think anybody will tell you that. But, yeah, definitely. I think when you step inside those white lines, your mentality needs to change, and uh, you definitely think, uh, you definitely need to think you're you're the best out there. He's A.J. McCarron, the Alabama quarterback, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. How many copies of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue did you buy with your girlfriend in? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't buy them. Um, I mean that I'm sure my mom picked up a a bunch of them, and uh, and then her family members get enough for us. So I don't ever buy the magazines I'm in or she's in. So I just let our family members do that. Okay, it's a little bit awkward, though, that, like I would think, right? The Auburn, Alabama, half-and-half half jersey, um, popularity. H- how are you handling that? Uh, I mean, everything's great. Um, but do you get your teammates looking through the swimsuit issue, and all of a sudden, you know, there they are on the page with your girlfriend? <laughs> well, 
I mean, it, the good thing is um, when people are looking at it, they know whose girl it is because um, she does have my jersey on in half of them. So um, she just kind of reminded everybody that uh, she's already taken. So it's fine with me. What happens <laughs> if you get married and she said, I'd like to have Auburn colors in the wedding uh, and maybe the War Eagle there for the reception? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, the good thing is she uh, she doesn't make those decisions. <laughs> she kind of um, listens to me and uh, on, on things like that. So, but she's definitely rooting for Alabama. She she really doesn't have a choice. Is is Nick Saban funny? Yes, he is. Um, you know, I mean, the media sees a whole different side of Coach Saban uh, just because I don't think you know the media is. His, uh, one of his best things to do, uh, or that is the top of his list. But uh, he he definitely uh, he definitely thinks he's a jokester, and he definitely will, will crack some jokes. Uh, well, well, help me but, out here, though, and and I know it's must laugh situation when your coach says something funny. But give me something that the audience can, because I hear this about Bill Belichick. You know, players will say, "Oh, he's really a funny guy." You know, Coach Saban's on, and it always seems like he's in the dentist chair when he's on with us, just because he's, you know, except for when he's playing air guitar at his uh, his summer home. Give me, give me a for instance that Coach Saban made everybody laugh. Well, uh, I mean, he, he, I, I mean, there's not really like one certain time. He just does it all the time in practice. I mean, he'll just make little jokes. Um, like I mean, he'll come tell quarterbacks. Uh, He'll just that he'll just like example he'll be like um, you know I, I can stand here and not warm up and throw a better ball than you and like and then just crack little jokes like that I mean it, he he definitely some of this stuff I guess you can't um, we can't really share because it's it's kind of our team stuff <laughs> oh, oh okay so you got secrets there uh, how uh, any side bet with Johnny Manziel on September fourteenth meeting with Texas A and M. <laughs> no, um, uh, it's going to be a great game, and uh, it's two great programs, and uh, it, it'll definitely be a fun one to watch. Well, uh, good luck with it. Obviously a great year uh, to to uh, try to build on, I guess, look for an encore performance there, and uh, it'll be fun throwing to your brother. Will your brother complain if you don't throw the ball to him? Uh, he probably will, but that's one good thing about being the – the leader of the team and especially of the offense is he really can't say too much when he comes back to the huddle. So, uh, well, if, if he does, I can send, we can send in another tight end. Oh, there you go. You can pull rank <laughs> on him. Uh, any new tattoos? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I got new tattoos on my arms, but, um, I mean, that's just me and people are always going to have an opinion of it, but well, what would you uh, get? What, what's, what, what's interesting there? Um, just, I got St. Michael, um, fighting Lucifer on one arm and, uh, a Bible verse. And then, uh, I got the, my hometown, uh, the skyline on my other arm. Do you have, uh, Catherine Webb's initials or name on your body? Uh, they, uh, they'll never be, uh, a woman's name <laughs> on my body, except, except my mom and my grandmother. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Yeah. Wait, would you want sleeves like Colin Kaepernick? No, no, no. He, well, you know, he only has half sleeves, and so I would never go below my elbow. Um, but, I mean, I, you know, I, I think tattoos are just uh, misinterpreted a lot because everybody thinks if you get tattoos, then you're crazy and then a biker gang or something. So um, I think it's just pretty funny. But, no, anybody that knows me knows I'm – I'm a you know low key guy, and I, I really don't do too much. So, uh, but it's just something I think a good way to express yourself. Well, once you get one, you never stop. You're, you're right. Yep. <laughs> it's like national championships. Once you get one, you want another one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> hey, well, congratulations, JJ. And I thought your uh, your girlfriend was great. She had great personality, great sense of humor, and uh, hopefully things uh, work out for you. I'm trying to get Brett Musburger to call the Texas A&M game with Alabama. And, and Mansell <laughs> said, you know, he'd be up for it. Could we get your girlfriend to sit next to his girlfriend during the game? What do you think? <laughs> that'll, uh, that'll definitely uh, 
would be uh, a, a great show, not only for the football. <laughs> well, it might be better watching that than the game, and the game should be great. I wouldn't have any problem with that. But, uh, yeah. hey, congratulations, and uh, tell Coach we said hello. Thanks for joining us. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. A.J. McCarron, Alabama quarterback.